Why, hello. I bet you were thinking, the fall fragrance videos are over. We are done. I'm not. And I know it's a lot of people who really ain't done. Because we could go on and on about these fragrances. We can figure out a way to come out with another fragrance video for you. I'm telling you. This is what it is. We, listen. We just trying to like put out that content. And I'm trying with them. Alright, so. I did my new fall fragrances. I did my OG fall fragrances. But in doing that. I honestly forgot a whole bunch of fragrances. And I do this every year. And I look and go, oh, dang, I should say something about that one. Oh, dang. So I have a few more fragrances that are kind of fall appropriate that I want to share with you all. Why? Because it's my channel. And that's what we do on these channels. So let's talk about a few more fall fragrances that I almost forgot about telling y'all about. All right, so now let's get to just a few more things that are like fall and I want to wear them and they're nice and they're thick and they're gooey and delicious. And well, you know, they're just fall fragrances to me. All right, so one I forget every year almost and I still and I love it is Ani. I was talking about this in my hype to be worth the hype and it is. This is a gorgeous green spicy vanilla it's very gingery um it's the ginger it's green and it's got that ginger and and it is it always smells so wonderful to me um i haven't met anybody who really doesn't there's a few people who don't like ani of course everybody doesn't like everything but ani is just like this really just gorgeous vanilla to me so this is ani Speaking of vanillas, <laughs> I mean, I've been, been talking about her in a minute. And this is Anique Goutal's Nuit et Confidence. Now, as I always say, this is what got me to buy her is the pom pom. Love my pom poms. But this is Nuit et Confidence um, by Anique Goutal. And this is a spicy vanilla. Now, this one is not very strong it's very close sitting to the skin now they say this is a dupe for spiritus double venin right i had never spelled it but now when i got my girl on i got a sample so i'm going to compare these two soon and see is it really the truth because if it is honey people need to be getting this one because we know these girl lines them little arts and materials are ridiculously priced but yeah, this is a spicy one. I got to be honest with y'all. I put this on the other day. It smells like root beer to me. It smells like root beer to me. I don't know if I really like smelling like root beer. But I don't know. Maybe his... Now that I've had it for a long time, it smells like root beer. So I'm going to spin the block with this one again. See how it feels. Do I really love it? I don't know. But I ain't going to get rid of it because I love the pom-pom. I just got to be honest. The pom-pom ain't going nowhere. Just honest. Now this, this is Andalusian Soul by Merchant of Venice. This is a gorgeous, this is another vanilla, but this is like a more deep resinous vanilla. Um, and you can get this for really inexpensive, under $100 for this beautiful bottle, um, beautiful fragrance. But yeah, it's like this kind of rich woody vanilla and so if you like rich woody vanillas, this would be perfect for you. So this is Andalusian Soul. And then we have this. This could be an underrated also, and it might be in one. This is Sweet Rose by Rosendo Matu. No one talks about this, but it's kind of a raspberry rose. And don't get me wrong, I got a few raspberry roses. But this is a really rich, deep raspberry rose. The raspberry is just a, like a little juicy sweetness in the beginning. And then it dries down and you get this woody rose. It's really a, a quite delightful rose. Um, like if you like sweet roses, like roses vanilla and things like that, it's not as sweet. This is perfect for somebody who wants 
a touch of sweetness in their rose, but they don't want it to be overpowering. So this is Sweet Rose by Rosendo Matu. Then we have uh, this. this. Let me go with another vanilla. I forgot I got another vanilla out here. Seta by Moresk. This had a little moment, but this is a dry vanilla. This is this is a dry kind of woody vanilla. It's not going to be like, you know, warm vanilla sugar or Kaylee's Vanilla 28. This is more like you scraped the vanilla bean. You cut a vanilla bean open, you scraped it, let it soak a little bit, and it's with some um it's no added sweetness and it's got it's woody base so that is what seta is so it's for somebody who likes vanillas but they don't want it to be too sweet if you're looking for a non-sweet vanilla but you want a, a rich woody vanilla seta is a very good one then we have almas by kajal now i had lamar I got rid of Lamar. Lamar was a little too masculine for me. That whole pine I don't know. A lot of pineapples come off a little too masculine for me. Um, but Lamar was gone. But Almas stayed. Oh my goodness. This is a gorgeous buried vibe. Um, think like amethyst or any of those buried fra fragrances. But this is a very elevated, very sophisticated um, berry. It is really like... I'm not a huge berry fan. I like berry, but I don't all the time. This is one that I can wear, and it just smells like a juicy, um, juicy like berry cocktail on me. So this is Armas. Behold Patchouli. Now, I have to say... I am not a patch hoe. I know some of y'all, some people are patch hoes. They love pat patchoulis. They love the the kind of deep woodiness of patchoulis. I am not a fan. I'm just here to say that I am not a fan. I am not a fan. However, I love this scent. It is, it says orange, citrus, frankincense, chocolate, patchouli, honeyed, amber, and that's exactly what it is. It's like this orangey, chocolatey patchouli with this kind of amber, honey vibe to it. <gasps> this is so good. It is like, it's a sexy patchouli, but it's like that, like almost gourmandy patchouli because that chocolate and orange together, it's like those chocolate orange candies that's what it's like it's like the chocolate orange candies with that patchouli sexy woodiness and the patchouli is just enough because to put too much patchouli and it starts you know it just reminds me of you know that that woody burnt wood patchouli back in the, that 70s hippie burnt wood patchouli this is just enough patchouli so it doesn't go over that line so this is behold patchouli and finally, and I'm going to watch it. Oh, no, no. Let's go here. Estee Lauder's Amber Mystique right here. Estee Lauder's Amber Mystique. This is about to be in another video, too. But, <laughs> so I don't know which one you're going to see first. But this is a sexy rose ooh with some incense. This is so funny because this is not... A, what I would expect Estee Lauder to make. You know, Estee Lauder is very old school. It you, you think Estee Lauder, you think pleasures and knowing and things. So a very specific kind of very feminine vibe. This is definitely unisex. This is giving, you know, a power broker, you know, corporate attorney going into the courtroom. I am about to, I'm about, I'm a, you know, I'm a bad bitch. And I hate to say bad bitch because I hate that phrasing all the time. But you know, you this is this is a very um, a mover and a shaker on a woman. This is a definite mover and a shaker. She is doing her thing. She's making moves. She's making whatever she does. She does it well. But also, there's a very um, strong strength to her when she needs it this is like when you need to come off like i got it i'm don't fuck with me that's when you wear estee lauder's amber mystique because it is it's just 
it has a slight sexiness to it too because that incense that incense and rose gives it a slightly sexy vibe so it comes off a little powerful yet there's still this kind of sexy femininity comes from it which will work in your favor you know that's like it's it'll like take people off their square but anyway amber mystique by estee lauder absolutely love it finally this one amouage i always forget about this one and it is such a good fragrance this is memoir by amouage memoir woman now i know people be talking about interlude and journey which i don't like either one of those journey i sold interlude i would like to sell but no one really talks about memoir people talk about material they talk about overture this one is an older amouage and she don't get the love she needs um this is a sexy spicy amber it is just gorgeous it it has all of the notes that you know amouage has the old especially the old school ones but it's it's got this really like warm set spiciness it comes off very sexy and there's this like deep rich sweetness that like that amber accord that's what this is that it, this is amouage memoir woman people really do sleep on this one this might have to be in another underrated at some point it will be because this is a sexy just delicious amber it should have been in the underrated ambers i totally forgot about it see how underrated it is i even forgot about it and i own it all right so this is amouage memoir woman all right y'all that is it for these a few fall, more fall fragrances that i just felt like y'all should know about because i forgot about them, the, the forgotten fall oh i forgot about this one y'all let me just tell you about this one this is histoires of perfumes this is 1890 now this is not for everybody this has got rose it's got ginger it's got orange blossom it's got patchouli and leather and incense this is a really really unique and um not for everybody fragrance but if you like a really like incensey spicy rosy vibe as it dries down you get more rose and orange blossom the ginger is right on the top but it becomes like this leathery incensey patchouli rose and the patchouli is just enough it gets balanced out by that incense and that leather this is really this is something you definitely have to try out but i love it for like this is like cozy but i'm being mysterious this is mysterious cozy this is like one of those things like if you're just starting to go some around somebody and you want to like really like turn their hair like wow I, wow this is a fragrance for that now remember though a lot of people like sweet fragrances but this will be this like really thought provoking fragrance like if you all are hanging out and you are like doing something where you're like having more intimate conversation where it's not like just going to like i like go into like a really really low-key dark kind of romantic bar but and when i mean bar it's an intimate bar it's a small one it's like a dark um it's one where they you can like just get back in a cut have you like a little like a little boothy kind of vibe where you just like together and you just enjoy like a little cocktails and conversation and it's just this like very um dark and mysterious vibe this would be perfect for something like that i'm just saying 1890 by historized apart from so as always, my beautiful people, thank you for watching and be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Talk to you later.